I think bold uh, is the word, uh, and this is a time when the G20 and the world need bold leadership. We'll need bold leadership mm -hmm. uh, to help um, the world really implement what the UN has agreed it should, the Sustainable Development Goals. As a president, G is surely a courageous man when he says we should take the bull by the horns. So I am impressed and he has even dreams about reforming China. He wants to get a blue sky, he wants to get clean water and he wants to get green meadows. To reach these ambitious goals, he really needs some kind of reform of economy. And I think uh, in the last years, uh, the first steps of reforming economy are already uh, started. Actually, China did a great thing uh, since the reforms uh, has initiated uh, 19, uh, in 1990, uh, in 1978. So then, uh, the China, the Chinese leaders, uh, made great things. But after time being, uh, as a, in, a, in any country, China needs some st structural reforms to re re reshape the economy and uh, state uh, structures and institutions. So in that sense, uh, President Xi Jinping's uh, term is very important turning point to restructuring the country and economy also. So transparency and also combating uh, with uh, corruption is very important for that. So to, to, to for use the more uh, efficient of the uh, resources and also capacity of the country. Shida라고 불린다는 것을 들어보니까 상대 부럽습니다. 왜냐하면 중국까지 큰 나라의 국가 지도자들은 국민들 입장에서 볼 때는 접근하기 어려운 굉장히 그 존엄하고 높은 사람을 보기 때문에 그런 표현을 하기 어렵거든요. 그래서 국민들이 국가 체도자 지도자를 시다라고 표현한다는 것은 그만큼 친근감을 느낀다는 뜻이고요. Because of his uh, experiences during his uh, uh, in the 1960s during the Cultural Revolution time. Uh, he was like most of the youth during that time. He was also sent to the villages. Uh, he was raised, uh, he was asked to raise pigs uh, in a small village uh, while he was still studying in Tsinghua University uh, during that time. Um, uh, so this has provided for a lot of connectivity between uh, Xi Jinping and the people. Uh, so we see uh, frequently uh, President Xi Jinping um, uh, you know, there are a lot of photographs um, um, Xi Jinping uh, with uh, the common people uh, in various places. Uh, we have also seen uh, photographs of uh, Xi Jinping with his mother uh, walking uh, in a garden. Uh, um, uh, so uh, I think in terms of leadership quality, uh, President Xi Jinping had suggested that he is moving closer to the people. Well, I, I think um, uh, the leadership style of President Xi is very impressive. I think he's uh, quite close to people's needs and interests. And, um, and he managed to instill renewed energy on, on the state apparatus and bureaucracy with clear purpose and very well-defined set of goals. Um, having myself working at the UN and being myself a former minister in, in my national government, I know very well that that's not an easy task for, for a new leader. When, uh, when and, but he has a very fast, um, terrific impression in the in multilateral community as well as uh, in the Chinese people, as far as I can see, traveling throughout China. China is such a huge country. You must have a strong leadership. Well, without a strong leadership, a weak leadership will not work. So China now, of course, is quite lucky enough mm, to have this strong leadership. And you have a so-called top design. You have a wonderful reform plan. But whether you are strong, really strong in or not, you know, depends on whether you can enforce, implement all those uh, policy blueprint. Uh, that's very important. That also is uh, what people expected. I think if I have, I may have been observing for the past two years and uh, what China is uh, 
uh, emerging as a, how China is emerging as a global leader. And uh, in this case, uh, I can say Professor Z is uh, a visionary as well as a dreamer. And uh, this will support this, uh, I think, uh, he will be a catalyst in making uh, China to become a more uh, responsible and uh, uh, more contributor for the world uh, prosperity in economic terms as well as the political terms. And I think that the leadership of President Xi in China has an effect that goes way beyond the borders of China. And it is in that respect even more important because it's a reform not only of China, but is leading the way, is demonstrating leadership at the global level. China President Mr. Xi Jinping is a good leader mm -hmm. for the China. Mm -hmm. And then China and Myanmar, mm -hmm. friendships since 1,000 years, yes. Our <coughs> country is nearby China. Friendships as well as families of our land, you see? So, your president, Mr. Xi Jinping, I honor us for the guidance, good guidance, leadership. For your China also, our country. He spent many years uh, like self-disciplining himself. So I think that's a very, uh, you know, powerful, uh, you know, factor for great leaders. Right? I mean, many of great leaders, they go through difficult hardships, right? Uh, so uh, having through those uh, difficulties, I think uh, President Xi Jinping, uh, he can endure things, right? And uh, he, he can uh, control himself. Uh, so. Uh, uh, I understand that uh, Xi Jinping gets lots of respect from the uh, general public of China. I uh, suppose that uh, he will be uh, uh, one of the great leaders of uh, Chinese history. Let's see how, how he goes.